This is John Morris, and uh, what you're about to watch are videos of San Juan de Oriente, Nicaragua, and the pottery production that goes on down there. We're down there with our friends Liz and Howie Woodworth Santo, owners of Living Light Studio in Fond du Lac, who are importing this pottery. And the narrator throughout many of the video segments is Jairo Tenero, that's working with Liz and Howie to uh, export the pottery from San Juan de Oriente, Nicaragua. I hope you enjoy these videos. Two, three, action. This is the beginning of the main street where all of the potters are at. And moving down the street. There is the lady crossing the street right now. This is a mural depicting the uh, production of the uh, pottery up in San Juan de Oriente. One of the first step is uh, uh, kind of uh, homogenizing it by hand, or I should say by foot there, so it's kind of a mash. The second scene would be turning the pottery on the wheel. And then there's the process of scribing the pottery. And it's at that point that the uh, pots get fired. Yeah, in order to shape a piece on the cake wheel, the first step is just to prepare the board of clay, and they just put it on the plate on the cake wheel. And by kicking, he starts to spin the bladder. Hey, man, don't know. Don't know. Don't do everything with our feet and our hands, we don't use electricity just to spin the table. Yeah, and I know uh, I've tried this a little bit, boy, it's so tricky to get it smooth and... Uh, and using the fingers, only the finger just to lift your arm away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they use some uh, tools just to shape the piece and what they use it could be like a piece of plastic or it could be like a piece of bamboo. See? To shape it. They use also a piece of nylon just to cut the piece from the plate of the kit. See. There it is. Muy bien. 
That was uh, Gerald Lopez that uh, did that turning on the wheel. Mutual gracias. All the pieces here are covered with a black plastic. There are pieces just made on the kick wheel and they are covered here just to keep the moisture on the piece. Once they uncover these pieces, it will go to the second step, which is put a layer of black clay, what we call engobi. And then we go with the step of smoothing the surface to seal the surface of the piece. Okay, this is one of the third step of the process of making the pottery is where they are smoothing and sealing the surface of the piece. Uh, they add a white oxide uh, uh, layer um, up on the piece and then they just dry it for a little bit and then they smooth. It could be with a sea of washing stone or it could be with a piece of hard plastic just to smooth and seal all the surface of the piece. Here's an example of somebody putting that really uh, sh bright sheen on the uh, piece before it's going to be uh, etched. And of course, uh, me being a big fan of turtles, there you can see a beautiful example of uh, yeah, a beautiful piece. These are plates that have just been thrown, and as you can see, they're uh, being set out to dry. and. Uh, being moved over to the sun to uh, cure a little bit harder.